What about returning to play after a concussion? The return to play protocol has been pretty well worked out. Um, there's an international consensus conference on concussion and there is a graduated return to play protocol. So the first is, is sort of start with rest. So symptom limited rest. Then we start with some very light aerobic activity, you know, going for walks and things like that. See how do we do with the, the getting the heart rate up. If an athlete can do that without any worsening of symptoms or development of symptoms, then they can start to kind of gradually increase the intensity of that exercise and aerobic activity. We want the child to start back into their typical routine as quickly as possible. Research finds that the longer you keep a child isolated, the more challenging it can be to get them back into the activities they love to do. Athletes exercise. And so if you remove exercise completely from an athlete's life, it can actually result in a longer recovery course. Then we can begin to integrate in some resistance training. And then before they get returned to any contact activity, we want them doing full intense exercise to exhaustion, to where they stop exercising because they're exhausted from exercising a lot, not because of symptoms. We like to see our athletes within 72 hours so that we can, number one, treat their symptoms, number two, provide recommendations for returning to school, and number three, provide recommendations for physical activity. Promptly getting in to see a medical professional is good, sooner rather than later. Um, here at Mayo Clinic, we have a return to play clinic, so we can get them put on that right path to recovery right away. And having an individual baseline preseason means that we get to compare their performance to themselves. And then if we have an injury, or we suspect they have an injury, then we have a point of performance that we can compare them to. So at home, it's important to establish good communication with your athlete, to understand that a concussion is not mean that they can never play the sport again. It just means that they maybe have to take a break and let the brain heal. I think it's safe for your child to return to sport when an expert tells you it's safe. Symptoms have to go away completely, but there is a lag between the time symptoms go away and the time it's safe to return, because the brain is still healing sometimes well after the symptoms have resolved, and that's particularly true in younger children and adolescents. So you really have to see someone who's been trained to evaluate concussion, who knows the symptoms and signs, who knows what tests to do, and who knows when the individual has truly recovered. A good day for me is to be able to give that final clearance to a kid, to know that they're able to go back on the field and that they shouldn't have that concern of, of re-injury, that they're okay to go back and do the things they love.